Hello, Kakomi here, and welcome back to another episode of Metroid Prime 2. Oh, I was hoping to keep the rhythm going. Randomize. Last time, we got Screw Attack, and we did some more exploring of the world, including making some risky but well worth it plays. Today, we are going to head off to an area I've been sort of dreading, but now that we are much more properly equipped, I'm fine with going there, and I'm referring to the uh, Sanctuary Fortress. The reason I was not so happy about going there is because uh, getting around there without a lot of equipment can be really rough. And there actually is one really uh, interesting out of bounds that's really easy to do with a randomizer if you end up with the right items, which I do have. And you can't do it once you've entered Sanctuary Fortress proper and gone at least, or you can. Basically, there's a room where you're supposed to use, like, a morph ball to bomb a few things and uh, open a gate, essentially, uh, like a security gate. And if you go through it backwards, which you're never intended to do, it'll actually just drop you out of bounds. I actually did it on accident uh, one time, and I ended up just getting stuck and had to reload my save. So that is also anyone, uh, a warning to anyone who plays this game and goes through Sanctuary Fortress backwards that it's really, or there is a really easy soft lock unless you know how to ether jump. Uh, then you could probably get back in the downs. I know how to do it, but I'm terrible at it. I've only ever tried it once. And out of bounds in this game just isn't for me. Out of bounds actually works kind of interesting. Uh, and there is an upgrade up there, but we need lights in order to reach it, and ooh, I'm taking a punishment. Uh, did I ever get what was in that translator? I can check it. Uh, please die. There we go. Uh, what are you? Uh, new lore entry. The light beam can be found. Thank you. Uh, it's not like I already have it or anything. Well, speed runner! Yes! And, so yeah, we have arrived in Sanctuary Fortress. And, well, I do want to talk more about this place, but I'll wait until we- oh, this part. I think I've almost died here before in previous runs because I didn't- I was at low health and I forgot these two turrets were here. The turrets can really hurt uh, if you're not careful. Then again, this is Metroid Prime 2, everything hurts. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, oh, I've already taken four E-Tanks, just to give you an idea. Things can really hurt if you're not careful, and I was not careful. I haven't actually played this game in queue in like a week, because I haven't been able to record, and it's kind of frustrating when I'm not able to record. There was a time where I was able to record, but I just streamed instead. And there were other times where I could have recorded, but I was too lazy or tired or I fell asleep. Yes, but coming out here for the first time and seeing what the Sanctuary Fortress looks like. Welcome to the Sanctuary Fortress. We got this great upbeat music, I love it. This great atmosphere, you can see what, it, it almost looks like rain, but it's like, almost, it's like data going through circuits. Or electricity going through circuits it looks really cool um this is actually for a quick or not a quick way but rather one of my favorite things about this randomizer or not favorite little thing i wouldn't say favorite like favorite tiny detail when you actually sequence break also phase on great uh is that i believe if you've beaten if you have spider ball by this point i don't know exactly what triggers this because i uh but if you start crossing the bridge Um, no, it didn't happen. That's really weird. I was, I don't know what the exact trigger for it is. Maybe it is going through this area backwards. Which, if so, I will have to cut away and show it. Um, but basically, Dark Samus can just jump. Dark Samus destroys the bridge after the Spider Guardian fight. So I think you have to actually go through this area, beat Sky Spider Guardian, backtrack out, and then enter this area the normal way. Um... And then Samus will 
in so when you're entering the normal way, you'll start enter going through the bridge and it'll play the cutscene where Dark Samus jumps down and breaks the bridge. Uh and it'll actually teleport you to this side of the bridge. The side you're supposed to uh you actually want to enter. So it's really convenient uh, in the sense that oh hello there. Uh, it just gets you across the bridge super quickly, and it's really funny when it happens. You're just like, oh, hey, thanks thanks for the ride, Dark Samus. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Also, with that, it can get really weird with some of the loading stuff here. So, I've tried to, like, uh, activate this cannon before and do something else, but I couldn't. Uh, because it, the pirates were there and Dark Samus is there all at the same time. So it can get a little weird. But what I want to do is, there is a power-up in this room I believe I can grab. I think you just need screw it. I think you need Spider Ball, Screw Attack, and Power Ball. Yeah, okay, never mind. I think I have to actually go reload the room for this one. So there should be a cannon here, and you need to scan that terminal. I remember the first time something like this happened to me, I thought, oh crap, did I screw myself out of an item? But I'm pretty sure if you just uh, leave and reload the room, because of course the game doesn't expect you to have power bombs on your first visit here, uh, it should work out. Uh, and I believe, or am I thinking of the Dark World version? I'm thinking of the Dark World version where there's like these. Or are there enemies in this hallway in the Dark World version? I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, usually I'll just try to boost ball past these things, so I'm worried about how much damage I've taken. Oh, come on. I think, yeah, if you boost ball right before you hit them, it'll actually, you'll actually just go straight through them. So this room. This is the room I was referring to that if you tried to go backwards through Sanctuary Fortress, it won't end well. Uh, I think you have to fight one of these guys. No? Okay, I thought you did. Maybe, again, there's some event trigger I haven't hit, and that's what happens when you have to go backwards through this place. So yeah, going back through to Sanctuary Fortress can be kind of annoying because of that. And yeah, you need Dark Visor in order to hit everything. And yeah, these things, Resbits, oh my god. Just Dark Beam, Charge Dark Beam the Missile them. It's not worth the hassle. They can do a lot of damage, and they also have this one attack that I'll have to show off, I know. Where, um, they will literally, uh, hack your suit and cause it to malfunction. You have to quickly reboot it. Also, fun fact, you can bounce off this guy's head and get through the opening right up there and skip this fight. However, if you do that, what will happen is that... Uh, this gate to the save room will never reopen, and you'll essentially just screw yourself out of a save point, which sucks. Um, what I usually like to do with these guys is just super mess them. And in normal mode, I think that almost is enough to one-shot them. I don't like doing this. Be or uh, so the so these guys are special. They have an upper half and a lower half. Uh, the upper half you just sh uh, take out by shooting it. The lower half, however, um, you're going to essentially pay with, uh, play Beyblade with this. You don't use the actual Beyblade, though, unfortunately. But you can, but it's pointless. Because one bomb will take him out, but you need his weak point exposed in order to do that. So yeah, I've definitely taken a lot of damage, so I want to go save. I don't remember if I have Cobalt Translator. Yeah, I don't. Okay. It's, like I said, it's been a little bit, I have a rough idea. Thankfully, thanks to the map stuff, I know what I've gotten, what I haven't gotten. And hey, speaking of Beyblades, and I definitely want to go save really quick. I completely ignored this door the first time I played through this game, and it was only later when I realized, oh, there's this room I haven't got here. Oh, it's a save room. Well, I thought I was actually going quite some time without a save room, and then there was one where I just accidentally missed it. So definitely just want to save here. At least get my health back. I, I don't need to save. And I don't, I'm not locked into warping back if I choose to not save. But mainly I want that health. I believe that that room is a map station. However, if you have light suit, there is an item. There's a beam of light and you can travel up to get an item. 
Uh, I'd also recommend trying to get these resbits before they notice you, because the very first thing they will do when they see you is they'll put up a shield. And uh, those shields will deflect all beam shots. I actually want... So there is an item in this room we can get. I know there's a really easy way to sort of skip the puzzle. Yeah, this, so this guy, that's a shield. And... Okay. If you actually... Uh, where it'll uh, inject your uh, virus into your suit. Ugh. Okay, I think I was holding the wrong button. It's R? Yeah, it's R. Yeah, so the first time I did that, I didn't know, I didn't, it didn't click with me that this would be magnetic. So I just started going through this. Ah, dang it, I, I thought that one might have, but I realized that right as I uh, boosted, I'm like, oh crap. So I kept just shooting myself at this ball and I had no idea what I was supposed to do. I'm like, am I supposed to break it? Am I supposed to wait for another item? <laughs> Yeah, the th thing here is that it'll this will light up with electricity. It's like every other ball will light up with electricity, and you just need to get to this red spot, wait, shoot, and then quickly move on to the next one. And it's always every other one, so the one I'm on won't light up, but this next one will. So yeah, there we go. Uh, go ahead, do this. And this last one doesn't, and I don't think you need to worry about electricity after this. You just need to do something like this. I really like that you can... Ooh, okay, missile expansion. Not anything useful. Um, I don't even know what number of missile expansion that is, but I want to write that down. Um, how many missile expansions? That was 14, so this should be number 15. Hooray! Um, I'm going to open this door at least. Actually, there's a dark room puzzle we can do in here that I totally have everything I need to do. So... Oh, I could do the Caretaker Drone, too. Ugh. I never like the Caretaker Drone. It's an interesting idea for a boss fight. I like it more than Spider Guardian. Spider Guardian, my issue with him is that he just requires a ridiculous amount of precision that you just is tough to achieve with just the Morph Ball. Uh, the, that light, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it hurts you. Oh, wait, I can scan it. Can I? Oh, I thought I could. It's the color. The color messed with me. Yeah, but definitely what I want to do is go to the dark world. Uh, there's a little puzzle here that just involves jumping back between the light and dark world. And in fact, I think if you even pull up the map here, which I find kind of funny and also kind of annoying that this area isn't called Dark Sanctuary Fortress, it's called Ink Hive. But yeah, you can see this room, it, you, it's completely disconnected from everything else. The only way is through the thing. So what you want to do is you want this guy, he's going to be really nice, he's just going to break that for you, and then you just want to get through, open the portal, and just GTFO. Get out of here. And I actually think the speedrun, what they will do is that, uh, coming up, I believe it's this part, yes, I think it's this part. So they'll actually screw attack into this hole, kind of like this, except they'll end up inside the hole. So when you screw attack, your uh, hitbox becomes a morph ball. I don't know why I'm even trying to do this because I'm not going to do anything with it. Oh, don't hit me, excuse me. Uh, but when you're screw attack, your hitbox is actually the same size as the morph ball. So you can use that to fit in the morph ball slot. But of course, you'll stand back up and you'll become normal Samus. Which normal Samus and standing inside a cave, you'll just be, you'll just stand up and you can move out of bounds. Oh. Um, yeah, I do want to not die, so... Sanctuary is definitely probably... Definitely probably... Like, if it wasn't for the atmosphere of Torvus Fog, this would definitely be my favorite area in the game. It's fun to figure out. It can be kind of annoying at times. Unfortunately. And I just realized, I think I might need to turn down my uh, voice volume a little bit, because I'm hitting yellow. I'm not peeking. But... Uh, what is that? That's a missile expansion. All of this for a missile expansion. Well, at least we didn't lose too many tanks. Definitely not going to fight Caretaker Drone like this. In fact, if anything, if I'm going to fight Caretaker Drone, I'll save. 
I can fight it, because all you need is Echo and Spider and Boost. And thankfully you don't fight it in the Dark World, so you don't I don't have to worry about Dark World damage. Um, but... I kind of want to just go through normal Sanctuary right now, I don't want to deal with Caretaker Drone. Caretaker Drone annoys me. So yeah, this is the room I was talking about. If they, you go through this room backwards, uh, there's supposed to be a bridge that sort of forms in the center. Uh, let's see if I can remember this. I think it's... I think it's this. Then it's... Amber. Then it's... Oh, I think I got that wrong. Yeah. I think it's in the- I think it's Amber, this... No, okay. What was it? Was it Cobalt first? I guess I was right if I- if it actually said this. No, it didn't. Okay. So I think it was Amber... Cobalt... This one? Yeah, and then Emerald. I remember Emerald being last. And then it'll form this bridge. So yeah, no, I can't get out of bounds, at least through the normal way. I could probably get out of bounds if I screw attack into that hole, if it's possible. But I don't know if it's also changed with release or something. So this is something I've been really wanting to see. If this item coming up to, on my left is Dark Suit, I'm going to be... It's going to be hilarious if this item is Dark Suit. It's an E-Tank, okay. So, that item is possible to get really early on if you, uh, because right here is this hole, or is this bridge, and just like Super Metroid, you can break it open. And this actually leads back to Agon. But we're not gonna go that way, at least right now. Uh, there's no item for us in the light world, I should say. However, should we be brave enough to venture into the Ing Hive itself. Also, I think I got two missile expansions. Yeah. So we're at 16 missile expansions. Uh, let's see. That is Cobalt Translator? I think that's Cobalt Translator. Yep. Okay, so we definitely want to grab that. Though I'm going to have to, I want to do that at full health because I'm going to need to be prepared to tank a bit of the Dark World. Uh, you get to hear this glorious whoop, whoop, whoop. I love that noise. When someone pointed out, uh... Oh, hold on. Yeah, I just don't want to deal with you. Um, and as for you, Mr. Weird Thing, I will just fall off a ledge. Oh, I am actually starting to get a little low on health, so I should be careful. There's Dark Suit! It, this is no longer a dark suitless run, guys. I'm sorry. I knew we would find dark suit here, but I kind of wish I didn't pick it up. I just picked it up without even thinking. Well, we did it. Dark suit. I was hoping it would be light suit for a second. I figured dark suit would be really early in the sanctuary because I know the game doesn't expect me to go through too much of the dark world without it, even if I can. Because this game is beatable without Dark Suit. It, it, the only thing you truly need Dark Suit for, uh, at least... The game, well one, the game intends to roadblock you at the entrance of Torvis without Dark Suit while putting these things that uh, increase the amount of damage you take. Um, I just realized I was probably wasting missiles, but it is nice. I can do more in the dark world now, but I do have a lot of health, so I'm a little worried about difficulty, but I know if I say that, then I'm going to get exactly what I quote-unquote wished for. So let's just, oh, no, okay, I'm thinking of the light world version of this place. The light world version of this room, I absolutely hate. Because if you just try to do this without... Oh, whoops. Uh... 
if you just try to do this area without clearing out the guardians first, or not the guardians, oh my god, they totally are guardians though. Uh, if you try to do this without clearing out those spider bots, they can hit you through the wall. And it's annoying as almighty heckin'. It, it's annoying as hell. There, I said it. I said the bad word. I'm just going to ignore this guy. Sometimes it's better. Excuse me? Could you, like, not? I didn't even know they could do that. That's completely new. To, that's news to me. I had no idea they could do that. Uh, actually, let me pull my map really quick. Because I don't think... There's a save room down here and an ammo recharge room over here. But other than that, there is an item all the way over here. But I'm going to need light suit for that item. So actually, what I think I want to do for right now is leave. Because I just remembered there was also an item I said I'd come back to get once I reloaded the room. Ah, oh, I know, it's so bad to see the dark suit now. I thought I, I never thought I'd be so unhappy to see the dark suit. Because, like, normally that's the point where you're like, oh, thank God, the dark world isn't going to murderify me anymore. But no. That's actually kind of disappointing. Oh... Oh my god, I'm so- I should have not picked it up, but it- Okay, yeah, these guys. These guys! They can hit you through the wall. If you ever do this room for the item thing, take out all of these guys. And what I recommend- and yeah, I can just show why. Oh, well, I guess I'm not showing why. It can be really annoying because another one will just join. He'll, like, see you from a distance and be like, Sup, can I join the party? And you're like, please go away. But if you just des destroy the feet- uh, what will happen is the head will come out, and it'll put up a barrier, and you need a specific beam to block the bear to get through that barrier. So, uh, because it has a light barrier, I need the dark beam. And that wasn't so bad, because I did damage to it before, but it can just get really annoying, and it's honestly just so much easier to take out, uh, when it's attached to something. So, ironically, I think it's stronger... I think it's actually stronger uh, without and the thing. Uh, I actually want to use Light Beam because I've heard that Light Beam's power is comparable to like the, uh, the Plasma Beam from Prime 1, which Plasma Beam is like an amazing beam and like why would you ever use anything else? Uh, I mean granted you would use Ice Beam because Ice Beam plus missiles takes out a lot of things. And usually at this point you just want to, you just want to be in more fall ready to take this guy out. Oh. Well, this is awkward. And occasionally in some rooms, I, I definitely want to get that. Oh, this is actually really scary. I hate that you can't control the camera like this. Okay, I need to be really careful. Oh, okay. Thank you. I want that gold health drop. Though this would be my excuse to ignore the dark suit. Okay, there we go. That's my deal. If I die here, I'm not going to get the dark suit. I will leave the dark suit behind. Uh, I think I got rid of all the guys in this room, though. I could have swore there were three of them. Maybe I'm maybe one spawns later. Yes. But this is almost like a little obstacle course. And yeah, I've had uh, instances where I tried to go through here. And I didn't necessarily have the boost ball, or I didn't have the boost ball by this point. Right, so there was a seed I was playing where I had to take the Agon entrance to here really early. Also, yeah, I hate this because, you know, it's really easy to move forward just a little bit at the end of the morph ball. Uh, because physics. And because of that, uh, it's really easy to accidentally roll into these gates. Come on! No! No! Uh, at least they're nice enough to put a little hole here so you're not completely trapped. Though actually, means I don't have to follow it at least. Nope. Wow, go me. Uh, so, this, I think it was the last seed I played. I had to come in here. The item that I'm about to get, uh, no, were you saw Cobalt Translator? That was, no, it wasn't Space Jump. I think it was this item coming up that was Space Jump Boots. 
and I couldn't go anywhere else. I had to go get this specific item. So the game expected me to take uh, power bombs, early power bombs, and come into Sanctuary. I didn't have boost balls, so I didn't have a way to defeat these guys. Uh, so I had this particular room is the room I usually die in if I have to deal with them. Because what you need, it's so much nicer in the Prime Trilogy uh, than here. But, no, okay, I'm, yeah, I need to get down. But these lasers, they will knock you off. I find it easiest to just not even try and get them in the middle, but, ah, dang it. But to just sort of wait at the end, because they won't go completely to the end. Um, oh, come on, no, okay, yeah. So you sort of get a feel for the timing after a little bit. After failing this so much. Yeah, and then there's stuff like this where you can't quite make it. And then usually once you're here, it's not too bad. Usually it's not too bad. Yeah, I might be stuck here for a minute. I'm all I'm really bad at this part's so much easier in the trilogy version because of Spring Ball. Spring Ball trivializes this, and I can say I'm perfectly okay with that. Nothing of value was lost. Okay, yes. Oh, I almost fell back down. Jeez. Um, definitely. The uh, the floor actually dips down there, so you don't want to just go into the phase on. Uh, you, you don't want to just try and take the damage to get through this a little faster. Or at least that's the reason for it, and I'm sure someone can tell you, oh, well, I mean, if you double bomb jump, like, here, then yeah, you could. Be very careful not to let go of, more, or of Spider Ball here, and be very careful not to go too far right, because this exit will drop you back out, and if you haven't gotten the item, you'll need to go all the way around again. Or not that, yeah, right here. If you fall down, then yeah, you have to do it all again, unless you know a good trick to get up there. Uh, let's see what this hint says. Uh, new lore and... Oh, okay. Oh, Dark Agon Temple. So that means, wait, that means that, okay, I think that means that our reward for beating Amorbus is an E-Tank, which means we don't need to, no, it still means we could need to defeat Amorbus, because there's one item that doesn't show up, or rather it's there, but uh, the, you have to disengage some locks with uh, Echo Visor, which I do have Echo Visor, but the locks don't actually show up until you beat Amorbus. So, and Amorbus is going to be a joke. Like, even on hard, I have God knows how many E tanks, and uh, I have Dark Suit. The, the only way this fight could get easier is if I got Lightning, and you know, probably Annihilator. And, you know, if I get the last Agon key, I will go to Amorbus. I will drop what I'm doing and go to Amorbus if we get the last Agon key, and that's if we do. What E-Tank was that? 10? I think that puts us at 10 E-Tanks. Alright. I don't want to deal with these guys. I think I can just ignore them. Yeah, so this cannon, it should have appeared earlier, but it didn't. And we need Spider Ball to get up here. Oh, I'm going to need to deal with these guys. Oh, wait a second. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Come here. I can't, you can shoot them out of the sky. I've done it before. It's hilarious. It one-shots them, so... Come on. I think I'm just missing them. Like, even, uh, even not left to right, but like even vertically, I'm not hitting them. Nope, yeah. Bye, buddy. Don't forget the right. <laughs> Alright, where's the other one? Oh, he's down there. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to need to actually... Where is he? There you are. And... So what we want to do is we want to take this cannon. We want to shoot this... You want to shoot this, and this is really important. You want to shoot right here, and you want those three. I don't think you can just get it from here, but it'd be kind of cool if you could. 
I guess not. But hey, I saved myself. I honestly didn't expect to save myself right there. What do you say? Um, a temple key can be found at Sanctuary Fortress. I'm willing to bet that it's a Sky Temple key. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead. And we actually have done quite a bit this episode. I think we're going to call it soon. Because uh, I just looked over at the timer. We've been going for like 30 minutes. But let's get this item at least. We've gotten a, a decent amount into uh, this place. Right. Away we go! And it's a missile expansion. Well, life just loves to give you stuff like that, right? Um, did I say I was going to go back? Uh, I said I would go back to Amorbis if I got... Oh, I know what we can do to end this episode. I know what we can do to end this episode. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need to cut for a few minutes. Oh boy. Ready for the next round. I, what is this, like round five now? Okay. Um. Oh, that's, that's like nothing to him. Okay. Well, it's okay. One, we have Dark Soon now, so safe zones? Don't need to worry about those. And also, you see the absurd amount of stuff we have. I don't know if power bombs actually. No, they don't. That's fine. Oh wait, what? Okay, I mean, yeah, I want him out of there. I don't know how to quickly get him out of this part. I really don't like it. Uh, but all right, where is he? Come on, just like spawn already, please. And yeah. Just keep going. Don't you just love Boost Guardian guys? Oh, okay. Come on. I was hoping to get him with some of the bombs on a way. Yeah, and I hate all the screen lights up whenever you get them. Like, oh, come on, really? Like, all you can do is just sit and wait at this point. Maybe take out a few of these inglets. Alright, where are you gonna spawn? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Boosty. That's what I thought. Ugh. Just powerbomb everything. Uh, I was hoping uh, transitioning while getting hit wouldn't uh, cause the light up. It's like, gets me so much, I hate it. Uh, definitely get this. Come on, turn in the goo. Turn in the goo? Or I mean, you are goo, yeah. Just die, please. How about that? How about you just die? Please. Uh, I got all the E tanks in the world and you're still annoying. Alright, there we go. Come on. Do. Yes. Okay. And I don't think. Oh, it did hurt him. Okay. That did a lot more damage than I thought. I'm a little curious now to see if that was actually... It's a Sky Temple Key. Okay. Well, definitely want a Sky Temple Key. So, he, we had to beat him. So, yes, that is Sky Temple Key 1. And, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And next time on Metroid Prime 2. Thank you, game. Uh, we are going to uh, go through more Sanctuary. Um, 
And who knows what we're going after. I knew I missed that missile expansion. Look, I came back for it, alright? It just took a few episodes. But we've defeated the evil that is Boost Guardian. And unfortunately, this is no longer a dark suitless run, but uh, this is probably stuff I'm saying, saving for the next intro, not for this part. And thank you guys so much for watching, and until next... Excuse me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.